Hello everyone. In today's cloud landscape, security is of utmost importance. Protecting your passphrases, passwords, or API keys is crucial for safeguarding your application and data. One of the best security practice is not to hard code the secrets in the code or your pipelines. So in this video, I'll cover the integration of Azure Key Vault secrets with Azure DevOps pipeline, where I'll first create the username and password, which will be saved as the secrets in the Key Vault. And then I'll deploy a virtual machine using the YAML pipeline through ARM templates, where the secrets from the Azure Key Vaults will be referenced into the pipeline. And in this approach, I'll not be using the username and password in the plain text anywhere in the code. So let's check this implementation step by step in this lab. I am logged into Azure portal now and let's start with the creation of key vault first. Let's go to key vault service, create a new key vault, create a new resource group, RG secrets. Let's name this key vault as shell in the demo. Key Vault 01. Let's create in Australia East. Standard pricing tier. Change it for seven days. This will retain the key vault after being deleted. And here are two permission models, but in this case, I'll use the role based access control, which is the recommended one too. And public access will be is enabled because we are not focusing on key vault here. So we went create and create. It'll take only a few minutes to create the key vault. It's creating now. So time being, let's quickly check the Azure pipeline service connection. I'm in Azure DevOps portal. Let's go to the project settings. And if we'll go to the service connection, there is a service connection, which is already created with the name demo with auto. And this was created in one of the previous videos using the workload identity federation. You can check the link of that video in the description, or you can click on the right hand corner of this video on the tags so that you can access that video directly. So this service connection creates a service principle in enter ID using which the pipelines have access to the Azure subscription. Let's go back to the portal and the key vault is created now, but before that, let's go to enter ID, Microsoft enter ID. We'll go to the app registration where the service principles are created in all applications. There is one service principle created for lab shell in the, which is the name of the organization demo DevOps is the project name. And this was created automatically using the workload identity federation. And this service principle is given the contributor level access on the whole subscription itself. So let's go back to key vault. Our key vault is created now. And before we create the secrets, let's provide access to myself as well as the pipeline. Add role assignment. Look for key vault and there is secrets user and using the secrets user, you can read the secrets. So we'll provide this access to myself as well as the service principle of the pipeline. And now the key vault secret user role is assigned to the pipeline and to myself. I have to do another role assignment so that I can create the secrets too. Let's go to the key vault and key vault administrator. This access is for myself so that I can create the secrets. Select, preview and assign, and preview and assign again. Now I have appropriate access to create the secrets and view the secrets here. However, pipeline has only access to read the secrets from the key vault. Now create a secret admin user. The username will be here. I'm giving Azure user. 
create it will go here go to the current version if you have appropriate access you can see the secret azure user is the name of the username let's create another one admin password password one two three four permission so it will go here so this is the password which will be assigned to the virtual machine during their creation so now two secrets are created one for the username another one for the password and we'll use this username and password in the creation of the virtual machine now let's go back to azure devops and create a new repository let's create a new repository let's name it as secrets create now a new repository is created where there are no files now i'll quickly upload the arm template files which i'll use for deploying the virtual machine now two json files are created one is the arm template another one is the parameter file for that so let's go to this file these are the parameters virtual machine name admin user name admin password which will be for virtual machine creation what's the location virtual net virtual network name virtual network cidr subnet name subnet cidr and the public ip name nic card name virtual machine size and the resources first we'll create the virtual network then the subnets after which public ip will be created then the network interface card and finally the virtual machine will be created so our focus is not on creating the windows virtual machine so i'll not go in this step by step i'll upload this arm templates and their details will be in the description of the video so our main focus is that without providing the username and password in these template files we will deploy the virtual machine through yaml pipeline using the secrets of azure key vault and another file is the parameter file where you can see most of the values are provided virtual machine name is provided however the values for the admin username and admin password are blank and all other values are provided which are the standard values like the size of the virtual machine b2s my public ip and 6/16 which is not recommended though i am going to delete this virtual net after finishing this lab so now let's go to the pipeline create a pipeline azure repository it's for the source and i'll use the new repository which is the secrets and let's create a starter pipeline first of all let's change the trigger to none which means if we make any changes into our repository this pipeline should not be triggered for the pool instead of the ubuntu image i want to use the windows and then it's just doing the hello world script it's a starter pipeline but instead of that i first want to provide some variables so one is the resource group name this is rg vnet test we are using this will create the virtual network and all the resource like network security group and the virtual machine itself and the location is australia east first we'll create one task in these steps where we'll first create the resource group and this is the powershell task which is using the service connection demo with auto and it's a inline script which is a powershell script it is just creating a new resource group with the name rgvnet test and the location is australia east so this is the first task in the steps let's create more now the next task will be the integration of the key vault here so let's go to show assistant write key vault download the key vault secrets so let's go to azure subscriptions select your service connection because we have already provided access now the key vault shy demo kv01 
and star for the filter. So that means we can use all the secrets. Add. So another task is added where the key vault is integrated now. And now the third and the last task is to deploy the virtual machine. And we'll deploy this virtual machine using the ARM templates. So again, let's go to show assistant, ARM templates, deployment scope is resource group, service connection is demo wave photo, subscription, there is only one, visual studio subscription, create or update the resource group and the resource group name. And let's copy the resource group name from here. Location Australia East. And for the templates, let's define the variable first. Let's add two more variables here. Vnet template where the template name is Azure deploy.json. It's in our repository and the parameter file is Azure deploy.parameters.json. So let's use these templates as a variable here. Same way, let's use the parameters too. And we'll define the override template parameters later in the file itself. Deployment mode is incremental and add. Before that, let's select the position where we are adding and add. Now it's Azure Resource Manager template deployment where all the details are already filled and rest will be picked from the variables. And for the last value, we want to override these parameters because there are only two parameters which needs to be overridden. First one is admin user and the another one is admin password. So let's first go to repository and there go to the parameters file and copy the username. So hyphen admin username, then admin user and admin user is coming from the key vault admin user and another one is admin password. So I'll just quickly add that too. Then admin password, let's copy it from the template admin password. admin password is the another secret. So this means all the values which will be used in the template will be picked up from the parameters file. However, there are two values which should be picked up from these from the pipeline variables. However, we haven't defined these variables anywhere because they will be automatically picked up from this task where we have integrated the key vault and it will automatically look for the key vault name in the Azure subscription and then provide the value of those variables in the override parameters. So let's save this and run. This will trigger our pipeline and let's see how it goes. So there are altogether three jobs in the steps. First one is create the resource group. Second one is integrating the key vault and the third one is deploying the virtual machine using the key vault secret username and password. So there is some error here. So let me quickly fix that. Let's edit the pipeline again and fix that step. Edit pipeline. Oh, now I got it. The issue is because this Azure PowerShell version should not be part of the inline script. Let's validate, save and run it again. Hopefully this time it should be okay. It's waiting for the agent because this is a free agent and it's managed by the Microsoft. So it takes time sometimes. Perfect. It's running now. I think this time it's running the PowerShell fine. So let's quickly go back to Azure portal and the resource group because it's creating a new resource group. V 
bnet test it is so let's quickly check if it passed or failed so it has acquired the access from using the service connection and it has passed so let's quickly check refresh it took some time to reflect here now the resource group is here and there are multiple resources also let's go back to our pipeline and it's integrated with the key vault it downloaded both the secrets and now the deployment is running let's quickly go back to our resource group click on deployment and the deployment is going on first it would have created the virtual network then the public ip nic card and now the virtual machine is being created let's go to our virtual machine let's give it a minute or two before all the agents are started so that we can log in into the virtual machine I'll just pause the video for a minute. There are no more errors now. Let's connect to this virtual machine using the public IP address. RDP. So this is the public IP address. Connect. Should prompt for username and password. And the user is Azure user, which we have saved in the key vault. And the password is password one, two, three, four. Donation. And perfect. This is a sign that we are able to log in into the server. And so we have just provided the username and password in the key vault and using those secrets, we have deployed the virtual machine. And these credentials were not displayed in plain text, either in the code or in the pipeline. So let's close this. Go back to our pipeline. Looks everything okay. And that's all. To summarize this video, I have first created the key vault, then added two secrets, the admin user and the admin password. Then the key vault secret user permission was provided to the pipeline service principal. Later a repository was created where the ARM templates were added for the creation of virtual machine which requires some prerequisite resources like virtual network, NIC card and the public IP address. So then using that repository, I created a pipeline where the first step was to create a resource group. And because in the pipeline using the ARM template, you cannot create a resource group. So first I created a resource group using the PowerShell. Then I integrated the key vault to the pipeline where all the secrets can be downloaded from the key vault. And in the third task, I deployed the ARM template using the secrets provided in the key vault. And when we ran the pipeline, it ran successfully and all the steps were fulfilled. First, it created the resource group. Then it created the virtual network, public IP address, interf net network interface card, and then the virtual machine where we logged into the virtual machine using the credentials, which we have saved into the key vault. So we have followed the one of the security best practice in our pipeline. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.